This is the Sega Can Gamer, and you are live with the MMA Home! Mixed Martial a You like to be a mixed martial Boom, 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 boom. No way. From the Queen Studios of New York, UFC 233 is canceled. Ally Quinta versus Kevin Lee, Fight Week Part 2. Bellator News, MMA News, Chris Machi from Triton Fights 10, live with the MMA. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is Wednesday night. We are here, we are live. Another swole, sexy two hours of MMA holes action. Myself, JBH. How are you, Jesse? I'm wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. wonderful How are wonderful. you, Mystic Moss? I'm always wonderful, wonderful. It's Wednesday. It's the best day of the week, hump day. But more importantly, the MMA holes are live once again yes. for season two, episode number 47. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we've got a guest. Let's do it. And his name is Chris Machi, live. There he is. <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful. Chris, what's going on? Welcome back to the show. The matchmaker for Triton Fights, number 10. The 10th Triton Fights. Unbelievable stuff over here, Chris. How are you doing today? 10th installment of a legacy that is an infant, and I am excited. Uh, so much, uh, so many hurdles been jumped for this card, more so than ever before. Um, but that's what makes everything worth it. Um, so I wanted to come on your show, give you some, talk a lot of shit, you know, because this is the place to do that. And, uh, I wanted to give you some exclusive, uh, you know, some exclusive information about what's going on behind the scenes. Big news over here on the East Coast. Chris Machi live with us. The 10th Triton Fights. We are going to be talking about a lot of stuff tonight. But, Chris, I want to get your opinion. UFC 233 was canceled uh, in January. The UFC has had problems with their cards falling apart. And this one's getting scrapped. How do you have your cards intact every single time? And the UFC can't do, do it. They can't get it done. Listen, man, I'll tell you what. Uh... I'm not immune to the, the, the same type of uh, mishaps. Uh, it's part of the sport. Um, but I just, you know, I've just been blessed to have a really large network of fighters. Um, you know, I love the UFC and what they do and what they've done for the sport. But I think that, uh, you know, sometimes it's a little bit of a charade. And I think that, uh, you know, they get they, they shoot themselves in the foot sometimes. Now, we have a big event on Friday night. This is your 10th. Showing Triton fights number ten. This is going to be exciting stuff over here. What could we look forward to this Friday on the East Coast? Is is it at the Space? Yes, sir. It's at the Space Two Five Zero, uh, Post Avenue, Westbury, Long Island. That's our home for uh, you know for the end of two thousand eighteen, um, going into the two thousand nineteen season. Um, you know, there's there's going to be a lot of changes coming to Triton soon, but for right now, that is our home. Yes. That's right. Now, uh, I see a lot of foreheads in the chat. Everyone, you're a staple of the MMA holes now. It's unbelievable. Yes. You're you're an official character of the show, and it seems like the MMA holes love you. Right, Jesse? Of course. Of course. That's her John Gotti impersonation over there. What can oh, we... really? <laughs> <laughs> what? That's great. Yeah, yeah. Do it again, Jesse, for him. Of course. Of course. All right. So here we go. We have a main event on Triton Fights over here. I'm going to show the audience, and holy shit. Aljamain Sterling's brother, Kevin Sterling, Kelvin Sterling, is on the card Kelvin. versus a Vilson. Uh, I'm not going to even try to say Ledroni. that name. All right. Jedrone. Jedrone. Yes. Jedrone. Now, we've seen Come both. Come on, Justin. Give it a crack. Jedrone. Right. Right. Jedrone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. All right. Wonderful. So, wonderful. now, this is your main event. We saw uh, Sterling fight uh, the last card over here, and now he's getting a title shot, a featherweight. Oh, yeah title shot and his brother oh. is in the news al jermaine just got um a fight against uh what is uh, uh jimmy fuck. rivera jimmy rivera thank you that's why i keep her around jimmy a huge <laughs> fight in the ufc <laughs> over here so big news over here tell us about this fight main event yeah i mean kelvin sterling um he fought for us twice uh, in the past um i have a good relationship with his brother um 
he's trying to etch out uh, his own legacy, similar to you know John Gotti's grandson. Um, you know, he, he, he his brother is known. Um, and he wants to, you know, etch out his own legacy. And he came to the, the largest stage for amateur martial arts on the Northeast, um, Triton fights to do so. So we, we felt like he deserved the title shot. Um, Vilson is a highly accomplished wrestler. Um, he has some national titles and some international uh, credentials, too, as well. Um, and, uh, you know, he's the Albanian beast, that kid. Um, body slams, you know, he, he absolutely tears his opponent up, too. You know, so I think that, that that fight is going to be a UFC caliber fight. Both of those guys train with top guys. You know, uh, Kelvin has, you know, his brother, obviously. But then, you know, you got Ally Quinta. You got uh, Dennis um, Bazookia, uh that just fought for Bellator. Um, and, I, and I believe they're actually having him back at Bellator. Uh, you know, you got a whole bunch of guys at law, you know, to, uh, to, to sharpen that steel. And uh, I know Wilson is, is, is a, training with the Miller brothers. Uh, MMA and and he he bounces around gym to gym um, and you know it, his coach is ready to go they're fired up they're you know they're ready to put on a show yeah this guy Vilson we saw him fight and he is really tough you're not getting uh, giving Sterling a layup he is definitely in for a long tough fight over here uh, what could the fans this look ain't basketball bro don't do layups <laughs> well that's the thing I've noticed I noticed before uh, in previous fights that you guys like to match up the best guys against the best guys over here. Absolutely. So I see that's what you're doing over here. Now, the last time we saw we saw the Savage in the cage, the cage was lifted up off the ground. It was unbelievable stuff over here. I mean, what a circus this was, Jesse. I've never seen anything like this at an MMA event. Can you just give us a quick recap of that whole Savage experience? Yeah, I mean... Oh, hold on a second. You can't stop this More importantly, Choose we got a donation coming in. Choose you motherfuckers. Choose you motherfuckers. This is from Vlad. From playing Pete in a goofy movie to being the head of an MMA organization, Allah is great, isn't he? Wow, Allah is great. Now, Pete uh, in the goofy movie. I don't think I've ever seen the yeah, goofy movie. I don't movie. think I've ever even heard of it. <laughs> Have you ever? Is, but I, I, I'm guessing that he's some type of like Indian or Western. <laughs> Maybe. Or, I don't even know. Who the fuck knows? <laughs> By the way, my cousin is Al-Qaeda. I mean, what? Oh, shit. <laughs> Breaking news. Jesus. Breaking news. Oh, my God. We got Choose another donation coming in. Choose you motherfuckers. Choose you motherfuckers. This is Vinny the Chin. Vinny. The Triton Flights, sponsored by the Gambino crime family. How do we know? You can tell by the smell of cheap cologne around the front row. Oh, boy. Mos and JBH, hold on to your wallets around those snaky Italians. <laughs> Leave your nice watches at home. This is, oh my God, this is unbelievable stuff. That's Chris, great. you have anything to say about that? I don't know nothing. <laughs> yeah, I'm well, sure you my, don't. My watch is at home. There you go, there you go. Smart man. Where's the grill today, by the way? No grill? Man, I got run over by a car, man. Jeez. RIP to my grill. Oh, well, rest in peace. Yeah. Everyone put rest in peace, uh, Chris's grill in the chat. All right, so yeah. we have a big card over here. What else can we look at, uh, look forward to in this card? Actually, before, let's talk about that um, Savage fight that uh, we were speaking about before the donation. Yeah, so, again, uh, a testament to our matchmaking skills. So, you know, the Savage, you know, he's a beast. You know, he's a tough dude. Don't get me wrong. He, but he, he, was, he was larger in the bodybuilding world than the mixed martial arts world. And he wanted to, you know, he wanted to make that transfer. And, uh, again, it's a testament to our matchmaking. We didn't give him a layup. Mm -hmm. uh, which we, which any other organization would have, any other organization you would have seen him in there with an overweight forty-year-old that just got off the couch and Cheeto still hanging from his chest. Um, you know, we brought a guy in that that had a boxing pedigree. Uh, we brought a guy in that was tough. He was in shape, um, and uh, you know, unfortunately, it got stopped by the doctors. Uh, he got cut um, above his eyebrow. It was bleeding into his eye. Um, he'll be back actually in April though. Um, he is not done. He's far from done. Wow. I mean, that was a brutal fight between the two of them. It was literally wa like watching two monsters in a cage. Like it was like a Godzilla movie. It was my. So, it was one of my favorites. <laughs> it was unbelievable. It was great. And I mean, the whole event was great. The last time we had a great time, we were streaming, and uh, it looked like the audience was loving it. They were loud. Uh, the place stayed full, which is something that I've noticed with your events. Um, the the fights get better and better as the night goes on. And I got to say, it's it's a nice place to see a fight this yeah. space and if you're Westbury go check it out Triton fights number 10 is going down now what is going to make this event different than any other Triton event all right so uh, I'm going to drop something super exclusive you know every time I give you guys the exclusive 
Um, you're kind of my go-to media outlet right now. Um, and, you know, hopefully uh, in the future too as well um, as we continue to grow synonymously with each other. But uh, so 2019, uh, we've been working on it for two years. Um, we had previous partners that told us uh, that this would be a pipe dream. It was impossible. We had a whole bunch of people tell us that it was impossible. But coming 2019, we'll be nationally televised on SNY, the home of the Mets. Um, one of the only, if not the only, amateur organizations in 9 million homes um, and wow. multiple cable providers and satellite TV as well. Um, you know, so I think that that is what's going to change it. You're going to see uh, a lot of TV production that you haven't seen in, in some other uh, of our events. And, you know, that's just that's just one more way that we can offer the amateur fighter the top, top production and the top level exposure um, that you can possibly do from the amateur level. Um, and it, what it means for an amateur fighter also is, listen, man, start getting that sponsor money because, uh, you know, we just got you we, we just got you pro level exposure um, at the amateur level. That is absolutely huge. We didn't know anything about this. Now, SNY, for those who don't know, SNY is big over here. The New York Mets play. It's the New York Mets uh, station. That's where they broadcast all their games. Um, they are competitive with uh, the Yes Network as well. And it's huge over here on the East Coast. Uh, the beauty of SNY as well is you can pretty much see it anywhere. You know, I if you have it. any sort of cable, you can actually tune into SNY. This is huge stuff. Now, after this after interview, I want to, we're going to play the uh, promo video of Triton Fights. The production is always on point. And now teaming up with SNY, I mean, this this is going to be banging. It's going to be groundbreaking, man. And, and I'm excited to be able to offer this to a brand like you, you know, uh, a brand like Tiger Life, a brand like Meal Kitchen, you know, some of these main sponsors that have come in. Um, you know, it's it's just going to change the game uh, in many ways, and it's going to benefit everybody that's involved in Triton Fights. And uh, we've always tried to create our own economy at Triton Fights, and I think that that's what we're doing now. Mm. Um, but, you know, listen, uh, the MMA holes is about drama. It's about controversy, and they don't want to hear all this logistical crap. Uh, let's get down to the dirty stuff, the dirty fingernails. <laughs> yeah, I'm hearing, I'm oh, hearing. Oh, hold on. We got a super chat. chat coming in, and this is Pulse Resurrected. Chris Mackey looks like a bloated and less gangster Takashi 69. It's Trey <laughs> Way stupid. Try <Try-way>. White! <laughs> Holy shit, he called you a bloated Takashi 69. Do you notice Takashi that's fighting uh, Floyd Mayweather? Wait, what? No, no, not no. Takashi. Oh, it's Takashi. Oh shit, I'm this thinking of Takashi I'm thinking of a fucking the rapper. Yeah, he, uh, he's the rapper that's going to jail for pedophilia. This is the guy that's, is the guy that's dropping the soap right now in the fence. Yeah, yeah. You know what? <laughs> Chris, you actually kind of do look like that guy. <laughs> you actually do. Listen, Holy shit. Listen, at weigh-ins, I'm going to have a face tat. <laughs> that's a so fucking... I'm you know, MMA holes tatted right here. Yeah, we want to see that. Hold, you know, so that's over. a reference I would have never... It's unbelievable. I, I, I can't see it because Takashi... <laughs> Thank you, JBH. Thank you. No, I, I I'm, I'm just saying because Takashi has like all that weird shit going on with... with Hold the, on. I got to pull up a picture of this guy. Colors and the tattoos. How do you spell this guy's What's T, his name? It's T. How's he spell it? Hold on, hold on. I, I mean, if I look like Takashi, you look like Ed Sheeran. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's me. That's, they that. call me Louis Louis C K. Don't worry about it. All right, hold on. Takashi. Let's see what this guy. Tek- I'm He's gonna the put one a, going to jail for. A, yeah, um, no, I know exactly what you're talking about. All right, here we go. He was, like, t- he was like touching little girls and stuff. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Louis, you ready? But I mean, uh, Louis, hello. All right, Chris, ready? Here we go. I'm gonna show a picture. There he is, Takashi. That is Takashi. And, nah, and, I don't. Uh, well, uh, nah. I don't see it. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> you gotta get that. Oh, you gotta get that grill back in. You gotta get that's the grill. what it is. Yeah. That's All right. I need the grill. Let's move on. All right. Let's talk There's about. <laughs> let's talk about this so this drama uh, over here. Yeah, man. So you know, normally I come on the show and I'll, I'll give you a little bit of drama and you know I'm politically correct and this and that. But uh, today. I drank a big cup of fuck that. Uh-oh. And uh, I'm tired of the bullshit, man. Um, you know, Triton Fights 10. I've been working on it for three months. Um, and uh, so basically, we had we had partners um, probably five events ago. Um, we co-promoted. They weren't partners within Triton Fights. Um, I guess in their mind, they thought they were for some reason, but they had nothing to do with Triton Fights. Um, it was a co-promotion. Um, and uh, they weren't doing their job plain and simple it was before i was doing the matchmaking um they weren't doing their job they weren't bringing anything to the table and it's like listen you don't bring anything to the table why are you at the table you know so uh we kicked them out the table um come triton fights 10 these partners also work for a sanctioning body um i'm not going to name the sanctioning body just because 
I'm going to try to stay a little bit polit- politically correct, but it's the equivalent of insider trading in MMA. Okay. Um, you know, basically what they did was they went uh, behind, you know, the back door. Um, no pun intended. Uh, oh. So they went behind the back door and they they uh, they medically barred some of the fighters on our card. Um, oh, shit. Pending, pending review because they can do that because they're involved in the sanctioning body, which I think is absolutely... Uh, ridiculous to be involved in a sanctioning body and to have a fight promotion gives you a clear edge over the competition and if we were trading stocks that would be collusion that would be insider trading mm-hmm. um but because it's mma and it's a gray area some things are allowed to be to, to happen um so that's why i'm on your show right now kind of bringing this to the light no promoter in mma in any capacity should be involved in a sanctioning body yeah that's crazy it's just, it's just it doesn't make any sense. That's actually some shady stuff right there. I mean, that's that's actually pretty scary that someone can actually get their hands into something like that. Exactly. And uh what it you know, the thing that uh pissed me off the most about this scenario is all right, look, you wanna come for me, you wanna come for our brand because you have a personal vendetta against us. Mm-hmm. Listen, we could do a promoter on promoter fight. Uh oh. You know what I mean? I'm game for that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'll step in there. I both of them. You know, I could do like I'm, I'm game for that. But instead, they went after our fighters uh-huh. that had nothing to do with anything. You know what I mean? Guys that skip Thanksgiving dinner with their family and and fasted because they're cutting weight. You know what I mean? No mm. cornbread, no starches. You know what I mean? And and made those sacrifices. You went after our fighters instead. Yeah. Um, and I think that that's absolutely wrong. And, you know, me and you have a mutual friend that is real close with the people that I'm talking about. Really? Yeah, you know, super, super radical, like stellar, man. Oh, um, okay, yeah. So, yeah. you know, it is what it is, but... Um, oh, you know, hold on, the siren. We got a donation. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. Hold that door. We got John Gotti Sr. Jo- donating right now. Let's do it. The only reason I clipped Paul Castellano <laughs> was to survive. He was going to clip me. Gotti struck first. Oh, Don't God. think I won't rise from the dead to make sure my grandson goes undefeated. <laughs> All I got oh, to do Gotti. is send a fat guy John named Gotti. Tony to Gotti. break their legs. <laughs> John Gotti Sr. Look at that. Unbelievable. I don't know how. I, that's physically impossible for him to donate right now, but crazy. <laughs> my man's here, though. My man's he's, in the mix right he's here. <laughs> now. He's the GOAT. Great Holy shit. I tell you what, John Gotti looks good, huh? John Gotti III looks pretty good. Was he 3-0 and now? As a pro? Dude, yeah, he is no, no yeah. joke, man. Last last sparring session I had with him, bro, I might have lasted like a minute, 30 seconds out of a six-minute sparring session, bro. I mean, the kid is just a problem. Yeah. Like, you know, he's he's in some shape. Problem. He's in some shape. And and if you beat him, then you have a problem, right? Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? It's, All like right. sitting, it's like sitting at the poker table, you know, low yeah. deck. It's a lose-lose. <laughs> <laughs> we got yeah. Chris Machi live from the MMA Holes Triton Fights number 10 is oh, yeah. this Friday. We have the weigh-ins tomorrow. We'll check it out. What is it? Weigh-ins at 1 tomorrow? Yes, sir. 1 p.m. Uh, Syosset. Uh, we'll be there. All right. If anybody wants some smoke, come down to the weigh-ins. Uh, I got no problem punching you in your mouth. Okay, so let's back it up. By the way, move the camera a little bit so we can see that beautiful face. There you go. All right, the other All way. There right, you go. Cool. Perfect. Um, so now... This th- these guys that you're talking about here. We were not going to mention any names, but they were working with Triton Fights for for nine events. Is that what you're saying for all nine events? No, 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 no. They they were working with Triton Fights. We did two, like two and a half. Okay. You know, co-promoted events till we figured out that they were just they, they were leeches. Mm-hmm. Triton Fights was KTFO. KTFO already had traction on Long Island and it was growing. Okay. Um, we, my partner thought it was a good idea to partner up with these guys in a way where we co-promoted events and we can make like almost like a large conglomerate you know kind of split the difference and split the workload for a greater good basically and it just ended up that i just do the work of both of those guys and i do it better than them, and i make it look better why is there so much drama between promoters and, and organizations, especially when you go to the regional stuff? It's it's unbelievable. Like there, yeah. these promoters are out to get each other. No one's looking to help each other anymore. It's just literally cutthroat. These are my fighters. You can't have this fighter. There's gyms going against each other. What do you think the reasoning for that is? Because they're in it for themselves and not the fighter. They don't think about the fighter first. They think about themselves, mm. their pocket, their mortgage, and everything else that has has to do with it. You know, my partner and I, we never look at, okay, one event, we need to make X amount of dollars. Yeah. You know, we calculate our success over a year or 
Uh, I missed you, brother. Now you just cut out for a second. Oh, there he is. There. You're back. <laughs> we uh, we calculate our success over a year, and obviously, you know, we calculate our our losses over quarters. Mm -hmm. You know, but so we're not looking at you know one event to make us or break us. Okay. These regional promoters, they that's what they do. Yeah. They try to squeeze every ounce of juice out of each show, and that's the way the fighters get hurt. Okay. Well, listen, Triton Fights is a fantastic show. We'll be there on Friday. You definitely better check it out. We have the link to the uh, website in the description, tritonfights.com. We're going to be playing the trailer to Triton Fights number 10 uh, right after... It's a movie. Yeah, it's a movie. Shit, sorry. Uh, and okay. listen, why should they get the pay-per-view? Why should they go to this event? Let us know right now, Chris. Well, listen, I mean, you know... Uh, if you guys was, you know, trading trading baseball cards, say, right? Uh, you know, and you get a card from a guy that's a nobody and he ends up being the next Derek Jeter, that card's gonna be worth some type of money, you know. Um, support these guys from the ground level is what I mean. Uh, because these guys are the top level amateurs. I don't put uh I don't put fake fighters on my cards. Um, so these guys are dedicated just much as pros, but they're just fighting under a novice rule set because it's a means to an end and it's a path to the bigger shows. Um, if you saw the Bellator that was, <clears throat> excuse me, in Nassau Coliseum, we had about eight of our former champions on that, under, uh, on that prelim card. Um, after they fought, half of that place emptied out. Mm -hmm. It's not a mistake. Um, you know, we're putting on top level shows, top level uh, performances, and, and that's why the, the ticket is worth every dollar. You're getting to see these guys from the ground level. That's right. There is everything starts somewhere. And I had to say this. When when I thought amateur fights, I was just like, ah, man, I don't know if I'm into, into this. It is legit. It is tight. And to see these guys grow from the very beginning, mixed martial arts, that's the way to go. These AMI fighters are here to stay. Aljamain Sterling's brother, Kelvin Sterling versus Vilsen Jrejoni is the main event. This, Yeah, I'm definitely going to say it wrong. All right, here we got a super chat, and then we're going to do a speed round from Jesse. Jesse has some oh, comments from the chat. Super chat. And let's see what the super chat says. Oh, it's Mega Cotron. Who's the overweight dipshit you got on? Looks gay too. Oh my God. The Jesus, fuck? that's terrible. All right. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Mega Cotron coming and firing away. 106 people Sorry. watching. Thank you for joining us. But here we go. Jesse's going to fire away quick rapid fire questions from the chat. Okay. Uh, Drunk Savage wants to know can Chris be a ring card boy? Ooh, that's a great question. All right. This Chris. On. Would you let this Chris? No. Hold on, let me flex. Ah! Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, no, for sure. Absolutely. But he just has to, he has to shave his mustache. Ah, oh, <laughs> fuck. All right. What else we got? All right. Uh, Michael Anzalone would like to know do you have. Hold on. You can't stop the Siberian Express. Real, choo real coming in. Choo choo, motherfuckers. Choo choo, motherfuckers. All right, here we go. Real, real. Does Gotti go to Bellator or UFC? Does Dana White make him an offer he can't refuse? Mm. Bellator or UFC for Gotti, what do you say? What do I say? Yeah. I, I say I know the answer, but I don't like the inside of car trunks, so mm -hmm. I'm good. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'm going to say Bellator. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Jesse, what else do you have? All right. Mike Lenzelon would like to know, do you have a favorite Triton fighter? Oh. Do I have a favorite Triton fighter? Uh, I'm going to say a really corny answer right now, but I swear. Hold on a second. Hold that thought. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. We got Vlad coming in. I've actually enjoyed Triton flights. They do their best to put on a good show. With that said, I'll be bootlegging the next event without a doubt. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at this. He's going to be pirating your, your event. What do you what do you say about it? Uh, please don't support us. <laughs> I need to feed my family. All right. We don't we don't recommend that. All right. Go ahead. What else, Jesse? Uh, favorite Triton fighter. Oh, yeah. That's right. Favorite Triton fighter. I'm going to say a really corny response, but what I will say is I don't have one specific fighter but i do like the female fighters and not because they're female i just like the fact that there's no feel out process in the female fighters they go out there and they got something to prove and they're they're there to really scrap there's never a boring female fight i never put a, a boring female fight in my cage ever all right jesse nice. what else do we have all right um pulse resurrected would like you to give a tour of your apartment quick tour a quick tour of your apartment tour of my apartment all right <laughs> all right here we go this is exciting uh, stuff all right, let's check this out. It's on the TV screen over here. Ooh, nice floor. Okay, doors. Ah, oh, super <laughs> chat. While you look at his apartment, we have a super chat. His promotion will fold next year like all others. <laughs> I don't know about hey, that. Dick. <laughs> Is that a curvy TV? 
Uh, it's nice. Yeah, I got a nice uh, gigantic curved TV. Beautiful. It's a beautiful yeah, TV you got there. Got a kitchen. Looking good. That's me. I bet you slay a lot of pussy in there. I mean, only one pussy in there, right? <laughs> <laughs> only, only one. Only, only one. Only one. All right, Jesse. What, what else do we have from right, the chat? Two more. Uh, gay agent wants to know: Do you exfoliate your brows? Oh, that's a fantastic question. <laughs> uh, yes, with 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 cream. With okay. Cream. Okay. And real, real would like to know: um, Are you affiliated with the Gambino crime family? All right. <laughs> no, I am not. <laughs> uh, shout out. Shout out anyone that lives that lifestyle, though. <laughs> there you go. All right. So, listen, and, and people are making these jokes because John Gotti III started with Triton Fights, and he's exploded into CES, and God knows what's next for him. He's 3-0 as a pro fighter. A lot of guys coming through Triton. Listen, that Long Island gym, that, uh, was it Law? Uh, uh, what was yeah, it? Law. law, right? I'm telling you, man, with Ally Quinta and, and uh, uh, Aljo, these guys are legit fighters, like legit oh, yeah. good fighters over here. And definitely something to uh, check out. Triton Fights is this Friday at the Space. You better be there. Oh, Chris, yeah. let me get the last pitch of why everyone should go to this event and sponsors and all that bullshit. Last words. All right. So why you should go to this event? Uh, basically, I have the hottest chicks on the earth coming. Um, and you get to see people get slammed on the face. Um, you know, I got adult entertainers fighting. I got... Uh, you know, we got a little bit of it all, you know. We Wait, got adult you know, entertainers? Fighting. I was going to ask, like, Hold on, what? porn stars? You have porn stars fighting? Wait, hold on. Back Wait, up. Wait, are they male or female? Female. Oh, okay. What? Hold on a second. Which, yeah. Who on the roster? All right, hold on a second. I'm going to pull curious. up the topology I'm going to look for the, the gonna, porn star. Nah, gonna I'm, not, I'm not going to say I'm not going to say. <laughs> we'll figure it out. How many I women mean, do you have the we'll card? We'll figure it out, but yeah. uh, I'm not going to say her name because I just I haven't got the release from her to to be able to do so but okay she's look she's whatever she does for a job is her business i mm. don't judge her but she is a legit fighter okay uh her coach is a legit coach this girl is tough as nails she's no joke and the girl that she's fighting is very game too so this is going to be a, a hell of a matchup and uh <sighs> A lot of people are excited about it. I tell you what, I'm going to show up to the weigh- weigh-ins extra early, and m- I might bring lube. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> to blow up doll, who knows? It's going to be great. All right, so that's another reason to watch uh, the live stream at the weigh-ins. All right, what, hold on a second. We've got Megacotron coming in with another super chat, and then we will uh, finish this thing up. This is a fantastic appearance by Chris Machi. Triton Fights is Friday night. Ah, oh, super chat. And super chat. What a dipshit. Get lost, you beach whale. Oh, my God. Jesus. Well, Mega, he's very in angry. In fairness, he calls, so bad. he calls everyone a dipshit. So. Yeah, he doesn't like me either. <laughs> all right, Chris. Last words. Go for it, man. Listen, uh, shout out to all the sponsors. Shout out Meal Kitchen, Virtual Realms out in Hicksville. It's a virtual arcade. I've done it five times already. I'm addicted to it. I don't play regular video games anymore. Once you played this this virtual reality video game, you will not want to do anything else. Shout out, obviously, Tiger Life, the best energy drink on the market, taking over Long Island. Just got back from Art Basel in Miami. Uh, you know, and, and any any other future sponsorship, you know, we have national coverage now. Any other companies that just want exposure and don't know how to do it, don't know how to market, or just don't have the network for it, we are the network for it. Uh, you know, shout out MMA Holes. You guys are, you know, part of the Triton family. And, uh, Big flex, big flex. Yeah. Pump. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, shout out you guys, and I'll see you guys on Friday. Uh, you know, I'm excited for it. Man. All right. All right, Chris, thanks for coming on. And, yeah, we'll actually, we'll see you tomorrow. All right. All right, cool. There okay. is Chris Machi, live on the MMA holes. And that's right. This guy over here, Aljamain Sterling's brother, Kelvin Sterling, will be fighting Wilson Dregione. Dregione. That's right. Now I'm going to.